Many thanks to the EA Creator Network for the code for the Artist Studio Kit and for the giveaway. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my overview of the Artist Studio Kit. I'll go over the details of the giveaway at the end of the video. So to start with, we have this kit and it has uh, 24 items. 23 are buy items and one is the build. The build item being this miscellaneous wall covering here which you can see it, it's called Down to the Studs Wall. So it's very inexpensive. And there are um, 10 different colors of it. So you've got one on that wall and then I put them sort of out so you can see the variations along with all the stuff that I've also placed out. And then this wall is the final one there. So you can see here all the various colors which goes with everything in the, the kit. So now we're going to switch over to the uh, objects and there is the three variations of the same room, three swatches. We'll take a look at that too at the end. So we have this all showing everything and there are the 23 items. So this step ladder shelf is, let's, it's right over here. All, and you can, the colors are all very matchy between the ones. And then there's like a clean swatch. And then if you go over there will be like a, a painted cover one beside it, but I just placed them out sort of as they came, like did the plus, so that's why they're, the, in this case, they're not beside each other. But so you have the clean version and the not so clean version. Up here is the uh, Creative Pro tablet, which is essentially like the digitalistic sketch pad. And it has paint quality of four, painting skill, and functional off the grid. I can't say I tend to use the digitalistic sketch pad either that much, though I use it occasionally. So the same would probably be true with this one. And um, so those are the colors. And then up here, we have the storage savvy smock. Who doesn't love storage? The cabinet is no exception. It's filled to the brim with paints, brushes, and even a well-loved artist smock. And you can see again, they have like the colors that are clean versus the colors that are looking like they're painted on. So in this case, we have 16 of the various versions of them. And then over here, we have the ready, set, go cart. So for all your creativity needs, look no further then the Ready, Set, Go cart. This rolling cart is built with industrial steel and metal casters for durability and sturdiness with enough storage space for bins, paints, brushes, and more. You'll have all you need to create a work of art without ever stepping away from your easel. And you can see that there are 12 colors again, clean and dirty. So, and it just is just a solid item there. And then we move along, you have the Pollock storage locker. You can see the price. So it's just sort of decorative. You can put something on top of it. I think I noticed that like these fit up there on top, but that's kind of it. And this also, you could put things on this little table too. And this one just, this is too big for that. It's possible that you could put some smaller things on there. Gain clean and dirty versions of this. And uh, it here's your little description. I'm not gonna read them all. Then you have the companion cabinet by dot ect and it also has 16 and they're the same colors that where anything else has 16 they have the same colors and let's take a look where i placed them because there's a lot of stuff and it took a lot of room so here is this the companion cabinet by ect so you know it looks quite good and you've got the paper showing down there which is just obviously decorative and you've got the clean version versus the the dirty version of them and again you can i'm sure put something on top just like this which i put over here speaking of which this is the rolling drying rack and it's 375 and it's like a trusted companion this storage cabinet will dry your precious works of art and supply new canvases for your next great masterpiece uh, it even holds everything else in between so it's a catch-all and it actually has room for a couple of spots you can see that's there. This is something that I placed on there and this is there. So you can have put three things on this if they're like the right size. These are, I think, are smaller footprints. And of course, this is, I'm talking about without the move optics cheat. And it has the same 16 colors. So you can see in this case, the clean version and the dirty version 
beside each other. So it does look quite lived on when it's dirty. And then we have the Anything's a Surface Pedestal. So when the artist is at work, no surface is safe from haphazardly placed brushes, palettes, and that scrupulous cup of dirty paint water. Do not mistake the dirty water for your cup of tea. And this lets you put something, as you can see, this is on top of it. But so you can, and it doesn't have a very big footprint, so it can fit on top of that. I think the bust is my recollection is, oh, it fits, you can put, put a pretty big one on it. I, my recollection was wrong. <laughs> set this up the other day not right now so that has 12 different colors and you have some that are paint spattered too same idea most of these are like clean versus paint spattered so and they're not they're kind of this is the clean this is the paint spattered so they are laid out sort of like that except for the dark one is there and the light is with that and then you have the improvised studio pedestal. So this one has four slots, that three slots you can put things on, even though I have only put one on it, on some of it, because it's, I was just putting the decorative in there, 12. And again, clean versus dirty. And it, here's the little milk pitchers that are on top, but you can put something there and you can put something there. And you can put, I noticed in the room that they have it on all three things. So you can have something on all three things all at once. And then we've got the Notorious Slop Sink. It has hygiene of three, water efficiency of three, reliability of three, and it's functional off the grid. And we have that over here. And again, <laughs> with as with all of them, we've got like the clean version and the dirty version of the sink, which is quite a fun little touch. And then, of course, here are the Creative Pro tablets. And there are nine colors of that. And as we had seen earlier, I have all nine, I believe, placed out here. But I think I noticed one somewhere else. But that's that. And again, the stats on that are paint quality of four, which I know I had said before, but I thought I'd just <laughs> repeat myself on that. As we're looking at it, so we have the Craftmatic Woodworking Table, and there's 16 of that, and that's one. This is right here. Yep, that's 16 of those, and it has Carpentry Quality of 4, which honestly, I don't ever remember that being there before, and I haven't looked, and it's just quite possible that I just have never paid attention. But the base game one does also say the same thing, so it's functional off the grid and helps you build your handiness skill. And there's all of them. So it's kind of nice to have, you know, a new version of that because the only one there is, is the base game one. And then we have this here that I'm quite interested in, the Rolling Easel by Independent Expressions, Inc. It's quite pricey as easels go, but it has painting quality of six. It has inspiring decor. Of course, it's functional off the grid and it gives you painting skill. And that's actually pretty high for painting quality. I'm actually going to add the base game so you can see how it compares to the ones from base game. And uh, But I'm going to go here. So the basic one is painting quality of four and it's very cheap. And then we have, there's the woodworking table. There's, this one is five, the easy breezy easel that you unlock with the painting career. And here's this one, painting quality of six. So that's actually quite good. Uh, 1125. This one is painting quality of six too, and you have to get to level eight of the patron of the arts branch to get it. And it's more expensive. So I hope they keep these stats the way they are because they have been known to change things <laughs> with stats of these things in the past. So this one here is worth it with those types of stats. And of course, this is at the uh, master of the real level eight of that one. And then this was patron of the arts, right? So there, they both are painting quality eight. So, it, oh no, this actually is only six. I didn't actually, I missed that. I don't usually have this one. <laughs> I guess this is the patron of the arts branch. There is also one you unlock with Discovery University, but since I don't have that selected, we're not going to look at that right now. But I just thought that was kind of relevant. And there are 12 of those. And we haven't even looked at them. We, again, we have the clean versus dirty. And then I put the paint spatters out underneath it. So there are all the variations of that. We kind of saw the 12 of these. They're, 
the vases that are sitting on here. So, and it is a Lilium mor Mortem. So that's kind of nice. And then we have the sketches and the studies of studies, and there's four of them. And I do have them up on the wall over here by the easels. So you can see the four variations. So there's the first one, second one, third one with the Grim Reaper and uh, Clown and whatnot, Freezer Bunny, and then the fourth one over there. So those are the four variations. And then we have this torso in repose, which there's eight of, and I do have those out just on the ground, though they do fit. I think they actually, so they only fit on that spot. They don't fit on the top. And, and it will fit, as you can see here, beside it. And you can see, so you can see all three of those there on there, but only little things fit on the top. Only the smaller put footprint items will fit up there, as you could see just then. And we have the collection of sketchbooks, which there are six of, and those are what I have here. Those are the collection of sketchbooks. So I have them, like I had shown you before, where there was three slots. Those are the six different colors of them. And uh, there's the description. And the discounted paint cans, which I've just placed things all over the place in this room. They are over here. So, and there's all six of them with like the paint water and, and whatnot. So, and then we have the painter's palettes, which you have eight, and those are also on this table. I, some of them I just, you know, place them where they fit. So these fit up here. But they also fit there. And they could be put here for design. So they're small because they fit on this side and they would also fit on the top because they're a small item in terms of the footprint. And then we have the odds and ends brush storage, which is this one right here. And that fits. So that's also a smaller one and it fits in all of the spots. And then we have the accidental paint spatters, which you have 11 of those and you can see the variations where they have different colors some just look kind of like dirt and different colors of paints and different sort of designs of the paint spatters this is the forlorn pitcher which was what was on here so there's 10 of those because you can tell by the fact that i have 10 out and then we have the studio drape backdrop which i have over here all 12 of those different colors so that's something interesting and then of course the last thing we have is this industrial spotlight which uh, has you know the usual 10 power efficiency which is what lights are and you can see them here all 12 of them and again some are paint spattered and some are not so that's all of those but let's take a quick look at the room that they had they come in three different swatches and you can just see it's 9,277 and it has like, you know, base game windows, obviously, and a base game door. And then it has the aprons, which are base game, but everything else in the room is from the kit, from what I can tell. And very nicely cluttered and set up so that you can sort of see the whole room in action. That was one color or swatch of the room, swatch number two and swatch number three. So it gives you an idea of something to do with it. So now I'm going to go over the details of the giveaway. So it is open across all platforms, i.e. computer, PlayStation, and Xbox. The draw will be at random. To enter, comment below that you want to enter. I will respond to let you know that you've been entered. That's how you know that I've seen your comment. And that's just to make sure YouTube hasn't somehow deleted it, which has happened in the past, I will need to be able to reach you on any of the following, either by email, Facebook, Twitter slash X, Discord, or Instagram. And my contact details for all five of those will be in the description below. And the giveaway closes at 5 p.m. Eastern on Monday, October 7th. I will post the name of the winner on my community page later that evening on Monday, October 7th. If you are the winner, comment on my community post by 3 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday, October 8th. And for fun, comment your favorite thing from the kit. 
if you'd like to. But that's going to be it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!